Hello students, welcome to Alan Overseas. If you are preparing for JE, we have a special video series wherein we will be covering some concepts from every chapter and we will be solving few questions for you. That will really help you to boost your preparation in JE. So today we will be studying how we can get the integral solutions in the mathematics. That is a part of fundamental of mathematics. So how we can solve the questions to get the integral solutions is our concept today. So here let's see the question directly. The question here is we have an equation which is giving us x y minus y minus 2 x equal to 3. Then we want to find out what are the integral values of x and y we can have. And those integral values of x and y will be called as the integral solutions to these equations. So what's given here x y minus y minus 2x equals to 3. See from these two terms x y minus y if I take y common I get here x minus 1. So I am getting one factor as x minus 1. So if I get x minus 1 as another factor from this term then definitely I can factorize left hand side in terms of two factors. And in a similar fashion, I can factorize right term in term right side in terms of two factors and then I can compare. So can you guess what should I adjust so that I can get x minus one term common from this minus 2x? Yeah, definitely if I just add two on a right side and a left side, I'll get here phi. And from these two terms now, I can even take minus two common. So I already got here x minus one common. Here taking minus two common, I get x minus one again. And I'm getting what? I am getting one factor as x minus 1 and other factor as y minus 2 and product of these two factors is phi and the right side is phi which can be again factorized as two factors phi into 1 and now just look you got two factors on the right side and two factors on the left side. So if you just compare like y minus 2 equal to phi and x minus 1 equal to 1 you will get one solution and if you just compare like x minus 1 equal to phi and y minus 2 equal to 1 will get another solution. So if you just compare something like this you are going to get different solutions. So let's see what are the different combinations we get. So here in place of x minus 1 and here in place of y minus 2 I can put 1. The other thing is I can just replace this like I can take here 1 and here phi. So x minus 1 will be 1 and y minus 2 will be phi. Eventually the product will be always phi to these two terms like x minus 1 into y minus 2 I am always getting a product as phi. So now just look uh, we are getting what solutions after doing this x minus 1 equal to phi I get what x equal to 6 and y minus 2 equal to 1 I will get y equal to 3. So one solution to this equation is 6 comma 3. If I consider x minus 1 as 1 then I will get x equal to 2 and y minus 2 equal to phi I will get y equal to 7. So definitely another solution to this equation is 2 comma 7. But are these the complete solutions or can we even factorize right side in some other terms? Yes, definitely. If you are thinking that you can factorize this phi as minus phi into minus 1, then definitely you will again get few more solutions, but those solutions will be now negative. Like if I consider x minus 1 as minus phi and y minus 2 as minus 1, definitely in this case as well, we will get solutions. And what I will get here, x minus 1 equal to minus 1, then definitely x I will get minus 4 and y minus 2 equal to minus 1. I'll get y equal to 1. So this is one of the solution I'm getting. But I can even switch this and I can make this minus 1 here minus 5 and then I'll get what? I'll get x equal to 0 and y equal to minus 3. So these are the different solutions we are getting. We can't get any other integral solutions to this equation. So these four solutions we are getting and you can check whether these solutions are right or not by putting these values in this equation and you'll come to know that all these values of x and y which we are getting here are satisfying given equation. Okay, so now let's see another question. Here the question given is x and y be positive integers. So look here x and y are positive integers such that 1 by x plus 1 by y equal to 1 by 7 and we want to find out all positive integral solutions to this equation. So what's given here 1 by x plus 1 by y equals to 1 by 7. So if I just take a LCM as xy, I get in a numerator y plus x and on the right side I get 1 by 7. So if I just cross multiply I get 7y plus 7x equal to xy. See if I take both of these terms on the right side I just remain here with 0 and on the right side I get xy minus 7y minus 7x. So just look from these two terms now you can take y common and one of the factor which you can get here is x minus 7. 
so now it's our duty to think and adjust that value on a left hand side right hand side so that i can factorize them so i am getting here x minus 7 as one factor so can you imagine what should i add so that i'll again get x minus 7 factor from this remaining minus 7x yeah definitely i should add 49 so when i add 49 on the right side i should add 49 on the left side as well so i'm getting what here 49 on the left side and on the right side i'll get from here taking minus 7 common again x minus 7 and here y into x minus 7 now just look you are getting two factors on the right side x minus 7 and y minus 7 and on the left side you are getting 49 now this 49 can be written as 7 into 7 we can even write this 49 as 49 into 1 and then we can compare these two factors on the right side with these two factors on a left side and that will eventually give you a solution so let's see what are different combinations we get so here in first case we can consider x minus 7 as 7 y minus 7 as 7 so considering x minus 7 as 7 we are getting x equal to 14 and considering y minus 7 as 7 you are getting equal to 14 so one of the solution to this equation is x equal to 14 y equal to 14 now, if I consider x minus 7 as 1 and y minus 7 as 49, I'll get x equal to 8 and y, y minus 7 is 49 means y equal to 56 I'll get. And then definitely I need to switch this 1 and 49. I'll get here 49, here 1, then x will be 56 and y will be 8. So these are the three positive integral solutions I am getting to this given equation. I hope you have understood this. Now I have a problem for you. You just give a try to this question. So try this question yourself. And just tell us what are the solutions for x and y you get. This is not really a very easy question, but if you give a try, you will definitely be able to solve this. So just try this and tell us what your answers in a comment box and we will definitely revert you back. Well, that's all here on the integral solutions. If you have any queries or doubts, just ask your doubts in comment box. We'll definitely revert you back. Stay tuned with us for more such videos on JE. Thank you.